Okay, so for this part of the question then, we've got to work out that the probability that if a person is selected that they test positive. So, in other words, we need a little intro here, the probability that someone tests positive. And if someone tests positive, how are they going to test positive? Well, there's two situations that could occur. They could have the disease and then be positive or they might not have the disease but still test positive. So we've got either this branch or this branch down here. And to do something like this it's going to be 0.02 times 0.95 plus because we're going down again through another set of branches here plus 0.98 times 0.03 but I'm purposely going to write some more detail into this, okay, rather than just doing the sum. But I leave it up to you to decide what you want to do. But I'm writing more detail in just so you can get a feel for the notation that is used in something like this. So the probability of testing positive would be that they can have the disease and be positive. And you'd write that like this if you're using symbolic notation or which is plus they could not have the disease and test positive and when you have something like this this is not the probability of D times the probability of being positive otherwise that would cause a contradiction with this notation no it's the probability of D multiplied by the probability of testing positive given that you've got the disease. And then plus, and for this one, it will be the probability that you don't have the disease, okay, multiplied by the probability that you test positive given that you didn't have the disease. Okay, so that's the symbolic notation, and then back to actually working it out, then it's going to be 0 0.02 multiplied by 0 0.95 and then plus 0.98 multiplied by 0 0.03 0 0.03 there you go okay and uh, if you work that out what you should find you get is 0 0.0484 or you could write it as an exact fraction okay either way it's up to you it turns out to be 121 over 2500 Alright, so uh, there you go, okay, as I say, that's how I would generally encourage you to set them out, okay, although I know that uh, you could go straight into the multiplication here. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then of how to do that part.